What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So, baiting where I want to go. Um, we found it, but we didn't find everything there. So I'm kind of thinking we go, we go back to the planet. And uh, what is this? Jetpack auto boost can be rigged with a separate button. Press manual or anytime I'm um, thrust is used. Yeah, that sounds nice. Translation. Freeze time while translating text. Freeze time while reading ship log. Freeze time while talking to others. Yeah. Always freeze time. Freeze time as much as possible. <laughs> Let's see what we got in the ship log for this location now. Sunless city. Angler fish fossil. Everything is coming to a middle. Yeah, there's definitely more to explore. Alright, let's head on out. We're gonna go, we're gonna land, we're gonna run inside. I think I remember it enough that I can kind of zip through. said there was another entrance. I think this is... This looks... Yeah, this is where we, we went in. Looks good to me. Open the hatch and in we go. Oh. Not that way. Gotta go fast. Uh, pull that back out. Uh, what was my... There we go. I think you were the one. Yeah, I think it was to go this way. left and we go through here and we go up through the hole and we go through here Not good, not good. All right, managed to get out. We used way more air than I would have liked. Be very careful about the sand that throws you to the bottom of the cavern. Sketchy. All right, we're back here. Not bad. Uh, about five minutes to reach destination. I 
Anglerfish Overlook District. Stepping Stone District. I Energy Lab Trailhead Egg Shrine District. Okay. Ooh, trees. Should we build the sun station to power the Ash Twin project? Are there other ways to generate this level of power? Uh, if we fail, I almost can't comprehend this as being seriously suggested. The purpose of the sun station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe as a species. Unsurprisingly, I, I disagree. We're pushing a possible new technology further than ever before. My experience are defining characteristic. Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetimes. I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the sun station must be built if we hope to complete the Twin Ash project. If we fail in the probability this is not insignificant, we without question destroy ourselves, all life here, and the rest of the star system in order to protect these species. The potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe a cost. We shouldn't build the sun station, no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Fear of failure is a poor reason not to try. If we're cautious, the sun station will work. I'm deeply honored. I'm paying your position, however. If we aren't all certain, the sun station will not cause destruction. Once we built it, then I won't support the station's use. Sun station and the Ash Twin project. Yeah, I definitely want to know more about that. I Energy Lab, I Shrine District. Let's go through them one at a time. So this one is the High Energy Lab Trailhead. Shit, the sand's rising too fast. I have to get here super early to be able to do, do whatever that is. I have to rewind time. That's important. Whatever that is, it's super important. So we gotta get here and then go straight down to the bottom. Stepping Stone Cave. This is the Stepping Stone Cave. This is descending. I also think this is... Playing the fish fossil game, I fed the fossil fish a new lantern. If you go to Stepping Stone Cave, the entrance to Fossil Fish Cave is easy to see now. Gratitude, it's good you're small enough to climb through the hole at the Anglerfish Overlook. I'm still small enough. You won't be for long. Mom and Dad are tall. You and I will be tall too. Go to Stepping Stone Cave, the entrance to Fossil Fish Cave is easy to see now. Let me refill all my oxygen. High Energy Lab Trailhead, that's where I want to get to. 
drop into that hole. is important. Say it brought us to the solar system, but is that good? If the eye isn't something good, if the eye wanted that to happen. I want to learn more about this eye thing. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Nope, damn. I ain't getting past the ghost matter. So I gotta find a way to deal with that. <gasps> All right, we are going fast. We're going for the bottom of that. That is the goal. This is new. What is this? It's like some, an alternative entrance. That looks important, but it's not what I want. What I want to do... Screw it, let's go. close to the sun.
Wait, is the other planet what's pouring sand into this one or something? There's like an entrance, look at that. There's a hole. never gonna get anything done in this game. There's so much shit to find. Banish without a trace. Bed cave. Oh, these are scrolls that I can pull out to generate stuff to read. Interesting. So there's something by the Northern Lake Bed Cave I need to explore. I want to climb into the other planet. I wonder does the does the sand start the moment I land? Or does it start when I get inside? We're going to find out, I guess. What's this one? at the bottom of this sand. I'm pretty quick at zipping through this. Wasted too much time. It's already filled anyway. So if we want to get to the high energy lab trailhead, we got to go fast. something like this was surreal like not not necessarily the game but just the concept of like every time you you die you're just rewound back like, kind of terrifying to think about exit ship to repair part hole damaged we ain't got time right now. We gotta go. We ain't making out of this alive anyway.
Do you think he would just would she become just numb to death? There's been a couple animes that have explored that that concept too. I think the most notable being Re Zero. You know, like you have you have checkpoints that your your body is returning to. But. At this turn, through, open the hole, up, 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 up. We're in speed run mode now. I bet speed runs for this game are like pretty wild. It would all come down, I think a big part of it will come down to just how skilled somebody is with their, uh, they're boosting and whatnot. that I would need to aim for the top Ugh, shit I don't think I can I don't think I can do this. I think I need to find a way to stop the sand first before I can... Before I can go that way. One last try. No! Ah, damn it, no chance. What else is down here? Anything? I need to find a way, I need to get to the planet, turn off the sand, and then make my way to... Fish Overlook District. It's over here. Gravity Cannon. Ooh. That's what I originally came here for. Matter over there. 
pick me to the gravity cannon. That are is that it? This looks kind of cannony. Oh, oh, oh. This the uh, is there an instruction manual? Shit, shit. Yeah, that way. Ain't coming from that way. Oh, oh, it's up again. It's up again. Sunless City is that way. Okay. Activate the gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. The shuttle is currently resting at the comet. That sends it away, and that brings it back. Okay, easy enough. Hello. Wow, y'all are super dead in here. Your situation may be dire. Hi, Pokey and I arrived here on this comet not long after its arrival in our star system. Shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. We were able to locate a fissure in the ice on the comet's sunward side, and they descended inside to investigate. Hmm. So, sunward side, there is a crack. Not a whole lot else here, but that's uh, that's useful useful information to have. That's some. But some big progress. Uh, I need to... Oh, where do I go from here? Honestly, I feel like I just die. Should I just die? And, and rewind the loop? I think that's the play. Literally taking that re-zero approach. I gotta go back. Time to, to end. Time to end it. Time to end it and start the loop. Anyway, uh, let's wrap up here. We've made some, some big discoveries in this last episode. So I will catch you all soon as the journey continues.